Hello guys, we have another video with a new friend. Hello guys, I am friend. Do you want to know what is the topic for today? Okay, let's start. The topic is simple fractions. Let's start with Mr. Gonzalez. As friends say, we talk about fractions. Do you know what is fractions? Okay, no worries. Today we will learn about the fractions. So in this case, as you can see, we have a birthday cake. So this helps us to understand what is a fraction, what a whole, what is a part, and whatever about fractions. So as you can see, we have the whole, the complete cake. For that reason, the real way to name is whole. And we represent with number one, the whole number, the whole of the cake. So, in this specific example, we will split up, but let me explain you before of this, the specific part of fraction. So, a fraction is a part of a whole number and a way to split up a number into equal parts. So, in this case, we split it up the cake into equal parts. As you can see, the part that is half and the part that is P. So, we will call with those names. In this case, we have the fraction bar. And here must be, we have to put numbers up and below of the fraction bar. So, but what must be in the below? So here must be the numbers of parts the whole is broken into. So we broken into one and two, very good. Now here we have to put that number. The number of a whole was broken into. Now here must be the number of parts you have. So, as you can see, in this case, we have two equal parts. So, the number must be two. Two over two, or two halves, those are the ways to call. Now, another example, we have the whole cake, and we divide it into equal parts, as you can see. But I, with Fred, ate one half. So, in this case, we have how many parts were broken into? In two equal parts. For that reason, we have to write two. And how many we have right now? We have just one part. And what is the name of how we can call those numbers? So, the first is denominator. And the up, we can call numerator. So, those are the ways to call them. So now let's continue again. We have the whole cake, but now we divide in four equal parts. So we have the fraction bar. So as you know, in below how many parts we split up or broken into the cake. One, two, three, and four. So there are four. And how many we have at this moment? We have the complete Okay, so we have four parts. So that is below is the denominator and that is up is numerator. Now, in this specific example with Fred, we ate one part. But now, how many parts or what is the fraction that we have now? At the beginning, we had four, but we eat one and at this moment there are three parts and denominator and numerator three fourths or three over four in this specific example that is for more people in this case we have eight equal parts we divided the same cake into eight but with fred we eat two parts as you can see two parts and we have how many parts we had at the beginning how many perfect eight very good 
And how many we have now? 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. Very good. Now we have 8 in the denominator and we have 6 in the numerator. So in this case we call this fraction to 6 eighths. That is the way to call it. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Okay guys, please like the video, write comments and don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring for notifications. I wait for you in the next class. Bye bye.